to Cardi Made It. So today I want to show you all how to personalize or customize a baby onesie using heat transfer vinyl with your Cricut. So if you're interested in learning how to put heat transfer vinyl on a onesie, stay tuned. So the very first thing that I personally do when I am making any anything, I measure. That's just something that I do for me. You don't have to. Some people eyeball it. Some people are just good like that. But I have to measure. And so from arm to arm, this onesie is about six and a half across. So that means I should make my design mm, about four to five inches. So let me see what five. So this is what five looks like. So about four and a half, five inches. That's probably what I'm going to play with. And you do have to, um, well, I talk about placement when I actually print it out. But that's how I realize, I figure out. That is how I figure out how wide I want my design to be. Because you don't want it to be six, seven inches across when your ones is not that wide. So, mm, four and a half, five inches, I think. All right, so here is my design for my onesie that I created for my customer. It says, hand-picked for earth by my grandpa in heaven and it's just it's the sweetest thing so um right now it is five inches across and 4.2 up and down mm, and I think that's a good size I don't think I'm gonna mess with that at all I think I'm gonna leave that just as it is so turn on my cricket <laughs> I'm gonna make it and as you can see it is jumbled all over the place so guess what I forgot to do I forgot to attach So I'm gonna click on my design and click attached. I'm gonna go to make it. And voila! I'm gonna mirror it. Because when you print on when you're printing with heat transfer vinyl, you have to mirror it. And continue. All right, so my material is set to iron on. And, hey, I'm gonna load my vinyl. All right, so I want to show you all how I place my vinyl on my vinyl mat. Please excuse my vinyl, my, uh, <laughs> please excuse my vinyl mat because it has been through a lot in its short life. But here is my heat transfer vinyl. This is the shiny side. And here's the the more matte side, the less shinier side. So you put heat transfer vinyl shiny side down. It does not have to be perfect. It's never perfect for me, but <laughs> like never. And I just make sure it's on there real good. I could have cut this down, but this was already a scrap piece which I know is probably um weird to have such a big scrap piece but it really it was a trial and error type thing but um yeah I could have cut this down but I didn't so I'm gonna just place this into my cricket and hit the arrow I'm gonna hit the green the I'm gonna hit the um blinking cricket logo button
point, I just walk away and, you know, find me other things to do or organize or something. Alright, so I'm going to unload my mat from my Cricut. Real easy, just press the green double-sided, double-headed arrow. And then... Mm -hmm. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to just lift it up. Place it to the side. Place it to the side. Get my handy dandy scissors. Scissors, scissors, scissors. And basically all I do is cut this out. Now on a day where I'm trying to be all neat and precise, I do have like one of those old school cutters. You know, I don't know how you I honestly don't know the name for it. It has a little arm and you just bring it down to cut. It's not important. <laughs> Alright, so here is my design I'll cut out. A little extra light and my handy dandy pin pin. I love this pin pin. All right, so um, welcome to my heat press, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this is this is my heat press. <sighs> welcome to my heat press, my heat press. Welcome to my heat press, my heat press. All right, here's the onesie. <laughs> I'm just going to place my onesie down on my heat press because I want to knock some of the wrinkles out and also because before I heat press anything, I always press the shirt first. This is just some parchment paper that I use to keep my surface clear, I guess. Everybody says use Teflon sheets or something. Rather, I use the parchment paper. It's cheaper, the same thing. And my customer actually bought this one, so I'm a lot more careful. I'm a lot more careful. This is a this is a more unless my other parchment paper piece was wrinkled. So yeah, I have a starter piece. Um but yeah, my customer bought this one. So I try to be a lot more careful when people provide the garment. Alright. So I'm sure a question is, how far down do we place the design when making a onesie? And I say anywhere from one to two inches would be good. So I measure like that and then boom. So two inches is like right there. So I leave my finger right there. And I plop my arm, um, my, my vinyl right there. And I just look at it like, hmm, do I like this? Do I like this? Might move it up a little bit. Some people say one inch. Some people say one and a half. Some people say two. So that's two. So let's bring it up a little bit. So that's more so one and a half. And I think I like one and a half.
the finished product. Just got to get the little wrinkles out, but <laughs> bless me. <laughs> but yeah, this is what my customer wanted. Real simple, easy to do.